error handling. In this course, we will learn what are the different types of errors in SAS. Like you have syntax errors, logic errors, data errors. We will see what are the different types of errors. Then we will see first how to recognize and correct the syntax errors. Okay, so what types of syntaxes are there in SAS and how you can recognize them and correct them. Then we will see how to identify and resolve programming logic errors. So if you have got some logical errors, how to identify them and resolve them. And then we will see about how to examine and resolve the data errors. So let's start with first, what are the different types of errors which are there in SAS? So SAS performs error processing during both the compilation and the execution phases of the SAS programming. So when we perform or when we process any program in SAS, the error processing happens both at the compilation time and at the execution time also. Processing messages are displayed in the SAS log. So we have seen that in the SAS console, we have a SAS log window, right? SAS log tab. So there all the processing messages are displayed and we can debug the SAS code by understanding these messages and then fixing the code. So based upon what kind of error messages or processing messages is displayed in the SAS log window, we can just try to understand them and then try to resolve it. So basically SAS recognizes five types of errors on the broader category. First one is syntax error. This syntax error occurs whenever we are not adhering to the rules of the SAS language when we are doing the SAS programming. So suppose we there is a syntax that okay all, all the statements in SAS should end with a semicolon. If you don't put a semicolon at the end that means you are not adhering to the syntax of the SAS language and that's why you get a syntax error. And this occurs during the compile time because when we compile a SAS program the first step it does is it see or it you know, judges whether all the syntaxes are correct or not. So this happens in the compile time. The second one is semantic errors. Okay, When the element is not valid for a particular usage. So suppose you want to perform data operation but you use some procedures right, to do that. Then that type of errors are called semantic errors which occurs again in the or which are detected again in the compile time. So these are the two ones which are you know, detected during the compile time. Syntactical errors and semantic errors. Then execution time. So when SAS program execution fails. So there could be very various reasons there where you know, your SAS program execution is failing. Those type of errors are detected during the execution time. Then you have a data error which is also again a very important error to be understood that uh, when we have the data values which are invalid. So suppose we have a data set, we define some variables, we define a character variable, okay. But when we are you know, defining the values which needs to be you know, inserted into the data set, for that particular character variable, we insert a numeric value. So in that case, we will get a dat data invalid data error, okay, because you no know, SAS will not understand that for this particular variable, it should be a character value, but we are assigning a numeric value to that. So that's the reason it will not you know, accept it and we will get the invalid data error. That also happens during the execution time because it's not a syntactical error or a semantic error, but it is a data error which SAS identifies during the execution of the program. Then we also have called uh, macro related errors. So when macro facility is used incorrectly, okay, this happens at both macro compile time or execution time. So for macros also they are you can say in the compile time, suppose you are declaring a macro and you use, you know, we always do it using percentage macro and then the macro name. You forget to write percentage, you just write macro and then the macro name. So that is a syntactical error, right? That's why it will, you know, be handled during or it will get detected during the compile time also of macro. Then during the execution time, suppose you wanted to refer to a variable which you have already declared, but you use some other variable name or uh, you know, some SAS, some macro function is not uh, performing the logic which it actually has to perform. So those kind of errors get detected during the execution time. So these are the five different basic types of errors which occurs in SAS. Syntax error, semantic error, execution time, data error and macro related errors. Okay, execution time means you know, also you can have the logic errors, okay, which we will see in detail in our further videos. But how do we identify the logic errors or how we can correct them, which actually happens during the execution time. So now what we will do is in the further videos, we will see these errors in detail. We will see the syntax errors. We will see the logic errors. We will see the data errors in detail. How we can identify them in the SAS log window and how we can uh, you know, correct them.